Hello and welcome back. So the last time we were here, we had trouble including our file. Now, for me, this seems like uh, a legitimate uh, path. So what is the problem? Now, to figure out these problems, just inspect the, uh, actually not inspect element, let's view the page source. Okay, so page source. Now we are supposed to see our bootstrap loaded in here. So if I now look closely at all these links, uh, yeah, there's one right here, which says bootstrap.mean.css. So everything is fine from this perspective. So if this is all looking good, then it means we probably have a problem with folders somewhere. So if I look closely here, uh, instead of assets, I typed assets. So that's my bad. So let me just rename this folder properly. Remove that S like so. Okay, so cool. Refresh and there we go. So the text has changed, which means our bootstrap is now active. So I can remove this on top here. Okay, now what I'm trying to show you here is that even without this function like this, let me remove all that, this will still work just fine. So refresh, there we go, it's working. The only problem is uh, it will be added in the wrong place because let's see if I now, not only in the wrong place, uh, it's important to have these things fire at the very right place, like the correct uh, queue okay but if you want you can you can actually put it outside if it works fine for you that's okay but it's always better to be specific where which hook you want this to be loaded at which point because sometimes uh, if you have a lot of scripts they can slow down the loading of your website so you may want to load them in the footer instead of in the header so you can change where they are loaded like that so now another issue is that we have to create you we have to be very creative and create unique function names but i hate doing this so instead what i do is i supply a an actual function directly in there so i'll just replace that and paste the function itself like so and then since it's an anonymous function i don't need to give it a name so it will be just like this so function and then down there is this correct yes it is correct it should look something like this okay so on the init we supply an actual function and then we run what we want to run now since we've done this let's use the other one which is in queue script to add the bootstrap script as well so here instead of put boot 01 i will just say boot js now if you don't change this handle here even if you load you put 10 of these lines only one will be loaded because they have the same id so make sure you change this id as you load this id is used down here if you uh, actually here it is not but it is used as an identifier in one of the tags so here we're going to change this from CSS to JS and the uh, that part to JS so that it leads to the JavaScript folder and the JavaScript file. Now this will be loaded as well in the header. So if I now refresh my uh, inspect element here, the page source, there should be two files here that were added. Okay, there's uh, bootstrap css and bootstrap js right there now if i want to put it in the footer down here instead i'll have to put more params here now you can inspect what wp and q script is like in the docs just so you see what options you have however the option i'm looking for is at the very very end so in order to get there, I have to put some default values in between. So here I know I have to put an empty array like that. And then next I have to put an empty string. And then I have to put uh, true at the end. So this true or false is the one I'm looking for. It asks uh, put in the footer or not. If you say true, then it will be in the footer. If you say false, then it will be in the header. 
Now, instead of putting array like this, you can name an empty array just by putting two square brackets like that. And here it's for adding the version, I think. It's so I can add something like 1.0. I can leave it empty. It doesn't really matter. Okay, like so. And then I will now refresh the page. So the JS should have moved from here into here. So as you can see, it's down to the footer and there it is. So this is how you include your files in uh, in WordPress here. So say that, that is good. Now, since this is the init function, we're going to do a lot of things inside this very function. So no worries there. Now that we have a uh, bootstrap working here, let's give it a test run. So I'm just going to go to bootstrap website one more time and I will click on nav. Where is that nav? Boop, 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 boop. Uh, so I want to go to components. Okay, nav bar. So we're already on nav bar. That's good. So I want this very navigation that is at the, the very first one here with the search bar. So I'm going to click copy right there and then come back to my page. And then in here, uh, the index page, I'm going to go right after the W body open. I will paste my HTML down here. And uh, yeah, that should do it like so. Okay, so if I now refresh, I get a nice navigation bar at the top here with a search bar. Very, very cool. Okay, so uh, with this now, I can um, show you one more thing that I need here. It's a good idea to keep the the index page as clean as possible. So it's only good to include other files in here and not use them directly like we're doing. Because if I keep adding HTML here, this is going to become a huge mess. So instead, what I'll do is, I actually don't need these bootstrap folders here because we already got what we want, the source code here, and I have another copy on my uh, system. So I can uh, delete these two without favor. So what I need here is another folder. So I'm going to call this folder template dash parts like that. So this is where the includes will be. So you can call it anything you want. You can call it include, uh, includes or inc. This is just my own take on the issue. So I'll just call it template parts because I've seen that used elsewhere. So. Now that we have template parts, I can now right click on template parts and create a new file and I'll call this one nav. Okay, nav.php, save. Okay, so I have nav.php here and so I can paste the navigation in here and then come back to the index page and remove it from here. So right about here, instead of uh, typing the navigation, I can simply include it with a function. So this function is called get template part. Okay, so very convenient. Uh, so what this function does is it will know where the theme folder is, it will get to there, and then from in there, it will look for the file that you write inside. But since mine is in a folder, so I'll write template part slash nav. I don't need to put the dot PHP, it will put that for me. So if I now refresh, oops, it is nowhere to be seen. So what has happened here? Well, let's check in there. So there is a nav.php in there, and uh, we haven't gotten an error saying that we are using, uh, wait a minute, that we are using an unknown function here. So that can't be the problem. So in times like this, where you write something and uh, it doesn't seem to be working as you wish, 
what you would do is go back to uh, your folder here and always remember that you have another set of themes down here so if I open this one and open the index page I can snoop around and see what these guys did right so I'm bound to find my function somewhere in here so you see this get template part right there and there it is template parts and blah 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 nice so let's compare this to what we have done in our own situation so if I come back here get template part back here get template part template parts uh, what is this no we don't need the second uh, part here so everything uh, seems okay according to this so what really is the problem yeah so I can close this one I am satisfied that uh, I'm in the right place so no problems there just a reminder that you have the option to check other themes that come with WordPress so I think the issue is just I just haven't saved the file the file is empty so let me save it so if I now refresh there we go so we didn't really have a problem all right so now that we have this running this is all good in the next video we're going to continue and add more content since now we know our bootstrap is working just fine I'll see you then